the National Commission for Civic Education, NCC, as well, they did a survey to find out what are the key issues that would influence voter choices. And take a look at this. Not, not so different, but just that the, the rankings and the positions change. For the NCC, education was number one for those they surveyed. And, and here's the reason why. If you look at the dynamics of the survey population and their demographics, the age population that the NCC surveyed, where, where mostly a number of the young people, you know, first time voters, and so education will be of top priority to them. For Global Info Analytics, they had more of the graduates population, the 24 to, to 35, 24 to 40 age bracket, and that's why for them, the economic situation is of interest to them, right? But for the NCC, they had education number one, employment is number two, jobs. And for the Global Info Analytics, you saw jobs coming in as number two. Healthcare was number three for the NCC. But if you look at Global Info Analytics, healthcare came in number four. Because for the dynamics, you had a lot more of the older population also thinking about their health as well. So if you look at the, the, the breakdown of the, the survey dynamics, you would understand why. And then for the NCC, economy came in as number five. But in summary, all these five issues in these two different surveys are actually almost the same and just interchanging positions. Then the question was asked, which candidate can address the key issues that were outlined? That's the jobs, the economy, education, roads, health. 44% of the respondents said they trust John Dorani Mahama to do that. 37% said Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. That's how the picture looks like right now, right?